Well, tonight at Milestone and the pandemic, the two remaining large COVID testing sites across New Orleans, they're closed for good today. Paul Murphy joining us now from Armstrong Park with more. Paul. Teresa, COVID testing site outside of the Mahalia Jackson Theater here in Treme and another one at, outside the Alario Center in West Wego uh, have been fixtures in the New Orleans area since the early days of the pandemic. Today, some of the folks that are regularly tested at this site called the closure bittersweet. The largest public sites in the New Orleans area for COVID testing and vaccines are now closed for good. Friday morning, Deshaun Jolly and her kids traveled to the drive up location outside the Mahalia Jackson Theater for one last test. We've been sick and so this location is very convenient. We've been coming testing to know our status. Former New Orleans City Councilman Jay Banks showed up with a carrot cake to thank the National Guard soldiers who gave the test and administered the vaccines. There's no doubt that they have saved thousands of lives with being out here. The Alario Center site in West Wego also closed on Friday. It opened March 21st, 2020, just 12 days after Jefferson Parish reported the state's first COVID case. The federal government was looking at pilot sites. Of course, we raised our hand. And so we were really one of the first federal pilot sites to be open, and I believe we would have been the longest one open. During its run, the site tested more than 39,000 people and administered more than 5,000 doses of the vaccine. JP President Cynthia Lee Shang says the site is closing at a time when the need for testing isn't what it was over the past two years. Even though we're averaging about over 200 cases a day, um, still five deaths a week. Um, but it's it's not where we were before. Back at Mahalia Jackson, people who depend on the testing site are thankful COVID numbers have come down. But as the National Guard pulls out, they worry the virus is still with us. So I'm hoping that other entities or other agencies will still be out here providing the service now that the military is gone, but the need hasn't gone away. I do have the at-home test. I've been ordering online from the federal government what they've been sending out. I am worried the numbers are going up. The testing centers are closing. And going forward, those who need a COVID test or a vaccine can visit one of the local community health clinics in the area, or they can call their doctor or local pharmacy. In Treme, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. All right, Paul, thank you so much for that update.